Muslims who are in fear for their safety getting a boost and some reassurance tonight from the city of brotherly love. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. People of all faiths gathered to mourn the victims of the deadly terror attack at mosques in, Mos in uh, New Zealand. 50 people now confirmed dead. Authorities announced today they found another body inside one of the mosques. Police are now confirming accused gunman Brenton Tarrant acted alone. And tonight, incredible stories of survival are emerging. And he got the gun out of his car and start shooting at me. He did around four or five um, shot on me. That man, Abdul Aziz, a father of four, says he picked up one of Tehran's guns. It didn't have any bullets in it. A tense game of cat and mouse ensued. He ran and I chased him. Uh, I chased him. He ran to his car and sat on his uh, driver's seat. When he sat on the driver's seat, I didn't know if he had another gun or there or things. He might get another gun to shoot me and what I did and that shotgun I had my hands, I threw like an arrow on him and he bust his window and that way he got shocked. Tarah then sped off and police arrested him soon after. In New Zealand and across the globe, people of all faiths have been reaching out to Muslims to let them know they are welcome. We saw that tonight at Love Park here in Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands was there and has more. Prayers and solidarity expressed with candles and hugs amongst complete strangers filled Love Park. It was very humbling to see all our our friends to come out and support us, it meant so much to us. Muslims were joined by Christians and Jews for an interfaith prayer vigil in downtown Philadelphia. All ages and ethnic backgrounds spoke out through signs, sending messages of peace and to mourn the victims of the deadly New Zealand terror attacks. At least 50 people were shot and killed during worship at two mosques. This is not acceptable in any shape or form. And that's the reason we all are here. It's a disturbing reality for newly elected Pennsylvania State Rep Movita Johnson Harrell. On Tuesday, she was elected as the first hijabi to take state office. Peace for this world, peace for this country, and peace for this city. I mean, it feels like you're supported by everyone. You're not alone in America. Many of these stereotypes and everything. To see our commonalities, not to see what separates us, to be there for one another, because we've all experienced this sadly in this world. Philadelphia police officers were also on hand. A religious group of Jewish faith called the Shalom Center also set up a fund to help the victims in New Zealand. In Center City at Love Park, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.